In this tutorial, we are going to look at how you can get started with running your Facebook ad. In the past videos, we've been able to establish the basic process of getting ready, getting your business page, getting your ad account, linking it to your page, verifying your domain, getting your pixels set. Now it is time to run ad. We also look at the different campaign objective we we'll look at the awareness the traffic the engagement the lead generation the sales the app installs so we looked at we looked at them in this tutorial we're going to look at how to get started how to set your ad and then get it running if this is your first time in my on my channel my name remains Leonard Eze you were to subscribe comment click on the notification icon to get notified when i post new videos on this facebook ad and other interesting content and it also help youtube to show these videos to other people before we go to the practical process we we'll look at the steps of the ad process do you just start and set your ad in motion no, there are processes, there are steps. And the ad steps is made up of three different process. One is the campaign, the ad campaign. I'm going to show us what you do on these three steps. We have the ad set and then we have the ad. Now the campaign is like a warehouse housing the ad set and then the Ad. When you selected the campaign and click on next, it take you to the campaign level where you set the name. You give the campaign a name so that it will be distinct. You know, you know the different campaign, so you can categorize them. You can give them identity. Then you have the auction. This is the bidding because a lot of persons want their ad to be shown. So this is the bidding step. Then we have the A/B test. For those that want to test different creative, different image, you have the AP test. You can select it. Then you have the advantage campaign budget. If you are going to have different ad sets under this campaign, so it will be distributed evenly, and then it will be concentrated on the ad set that is bringing more results. So more of the budget will be targeted on that. So these are the four steps or four settings, four things you do on the campaign level. Next, we look at the ad set level. The first start with naming them. You can give them a name. You can duplicate the ad set, meaning that you have more than one ad set. Then you have the performance goals. Is it to show to have more reach? Is it to to show it to people that are, are likely to take action to fill a form? to purchase so these are the performance goal you have the budget how much are you going to pay for this ad per day then you have the ad schedule when is the ad going to start running then you have the audience here you can create an audience so you select an audience that is already saved then you have placement where do you want facebook to show this ad is it on instagram if it's on instagram is it on Instagram feed alone or the different placements of Instagram? We have Facebook, is Instagram videos, is on Reels, is it on Story, wherever you want them to show. They have automatic placements and then we have manual placements. Most time is good, depending on your budget, to choose the manual placement. At the ad level, we have to name the ad, you must give it a name, give it identity. You have to select the page. Definitely by now you have linked the page to the ad account. So it will be selected. Then Instagram, if it's not connected, you select the Instagram. Then the ad setup, create an ad or use the existing post. Then ad format, is it image, is it carousel, is it one? single image is it video is it carousel these are the ad formats you choose the one you want then we have the ad creative ad creative 
is now the image yes the image you add can be video can be different images up to 10 as a carousel or a single image then you have the headline this is the catchy one that is below the catchy headline that is below the below the creative that is always in bold then the primary test is the your your ad copy that when they click to see more they will see the ad copy then look at the steps for now before you start your ad you shouldn't rush into it you should plan it you should get your ad copy ready get your creative can create your audience for an already existing businesses that have run ad that people have interacted with not just ad alone who that have websites that visitors have have visited and there's a pixel on it and you can create a custom audience or lookalike audience then proceed to create your ad for new businesses then you may not need to create a custom audience because you may not have had people that interact with your page or website next we are going to go practical we are going to look at awareness ad and sending people to our WhatsApp. to start we have to go into our facebook page our facebook profile before now i told us you must have gotten your creative ready because it's going to be awareness it's awareness ad you should have made a post so by now you should have your creative ready and then have made a post i'm going to i'm going to create awareness for my services and the cost you can see it's powered by leo smart digital this service i'm going to promote are the cac registration services business name company church ngo mosque etc registration get them registered today at an affordable price and also file your annual returns and other posting corporation filings with us you can see call whatsapp for more details because i want people to know more about it i have to detail it business name the cost document to receive we have company so you can create your own creative or image you are going to use in canva i did this in canva and then i'll go and make my post i've already made my post so you can make your own post too and then go to your facebook page or facebook account or facebook profile so this is my facebook profile and in this my facebook profile i'm going to go to my business account yes let me go to here you can see shortcuts then why here i can click on switch yes i have to switch fully switch so i'm now interacting with my business page yes this is my business page you can see i have already made a post and then i'm one to you can see they will be sent to my whatsapp when you create the post you enable it to get a message to your whatsapp so you can see this is the headline that ordinarily should be shown is already there then your trusted partner in cac registration then this is this will be my primary test this is my primary test as it will show when people see this so this is i'm going to create awareness for this my services so we have to go to meta business suite when on meta business suite assuming you want to create an audience so you can click on this all tools and scroll down to audiences so you click on it here we can create audiences so when you click here you can see the different audiences we have custom audience and then look alike audience custom audience is a connect with the people who have 
already shown an interest in your business or product with custom audiences. You can create an audience from your custom contact, website traffic, or mobile app. So when we click on it, you can see what help you here is the pixel. Assuming you want to get people from a custom audience of people that visit your website. So because there is a pixel on your website, you'll be able to get this data source. If not, it can be the page, Facebook page, or Instagram account. So let's select Facebook page and click on Next. You can see my page is already selected. Then you see everyone who engaged with your page. Let's see. When you click on it to bring up this, everyone who engaged with your page includes people who have visited your page or taken an action on a post or add such as reactions, shares, comments, link, link clicks, or carousel swipes. These are people that, that have interacted with your page and if you select this audience and say the retention is 365 days, meaning that people that have interacted even in the last 365 days will be selected. Then you give the audience name Normally, this can be like hot audience, hot awareness or whatever, hot audience. And then you click create audience. Now it has been created. Your custom audience was created. Create a lookalike audience. So you can create a lookalike audience, reach account center, similar to the audience that you just created by creating a lookalike. So you can create a lookalike. You can click here to create a lookalike. The lookalike is people that have common similarity or common action to these people that have visited and shown interest in our business. So you can select the location if you want. You can select the country. So you can be Africa. Then you have Nigeria. Nigeria. Then lookalike. You can see. 1%. You have over 500,000. You can select this and then click create audience. So you can create audience. So we have created look alike of hot awareness. We are matching your audience to profiles on meta technologies. This can take up to three days. You can start running ads with this audience straight away, but be aware that your audience size will increase as the audience is populated. So you see, estimated audience size is below 1,000. So it's, also, it's, it's still populating. So you may not get enough audience size. So this is how to create audience. You've been able to create the custom audience and then the look alike audience. Let's look at saved audience. So, saved audience, we can search. These are the audience. We can create an audience here. Let's say code audience. We have created for warm audience. Then let's create code audience. Let's say awareness, awareness audience. We are going to create new. Look at the location, location Nigeria, then places in Nigeria. Let's say you want Lagos, Lagos State. We have Abuja, depending on your product or where your, your clients are located. Always target where you can deliver if it's physical product. Then if it's digital product, you can target anywhere. You can see that our audience size is decreasing from above 30,000. So we go to Portacot. Assuming you want to target Portacot. Assuming you want to target Portacot or uh, these three places. We now select the places. Next is age. Click here to select which age fits your 
buyer persona, those your target audience, assuming is 25 to 45. You can see our audience size is decreasing. Then gender, is it women or men, whichever you select. Then we have detailed targeting. Assuming you want to, you don't just don't want to target every people, every person. You want to target some people that have interest in certain things. So you can click on here this suggestion. You can see, you can see suggestion. You can see business owners, self-employed entrepreneurs, product business, retail industry, entrepreneurship, engaged shoppers. So you can choose small business or finance, small business owners, small business owners. This is how you do a detailed targeting to target your particular audience. Let's say non, assuming you are targeting people that are into NGO, you can click on non-governmental organization. So this way you do the data targeting, you don't just target randomly. And then you can see our audience size has reduced to 2.9 million to 3.5 million. The best audience size that Facebook recommends is 2 million to about 10 million. Having created, having done a detailed targeting, then the next is for us to create saved audience. So you can click on create. Say so your saved audience contains a location. Targeting option has been removed. Edit it. So we can edit. Let's edit. Okay, let's let's click here to edit. So let's edit which place location. Okay, let's remove this. Let's see what will happen. Let me remove rivers. Then let's update. So your saved audience has been updated. I think that one was removed. So you can click on done. We now have awareness audience saved audience we have hot audience then we have look alike so you can also do same for custom audience for your instagram your website whichever you have a data source or you have where your pixel is delivering traffic wherever you have your pixel so it can be people that visit your Instagram account, so you can get a, a, a data from there. You can create an audience. Then you can also create a lookalike audience. Then it can be the websites, and then you follow up the process, as I've shown us, for Facebook page. Having done this, the next is for us to, to start our ad. Why on this Meta Business Suite, you can go to as manager yes when you click on that ad manager it may take you to a page like this this page you know this meta business is in both my personal ad account you can see this 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 is an ad account and then this is the ad account in my business manager business facebook account or business facebook manager i don't like running ad with my personal you can see there's a problem with the payment method i didn't set any payment method now for me to go i click on this place you can see it and then select the ad account associated with my business manager click here to select the business manager business ad account has loaded is no longer in my personal ad account to start we click on this create create ad click on it then it will load up to create new campaign new ad sets or ad now we know the campaign you can see them six of them awareness traffic engagement leads app promotion sales for this 
this tutorial we are concerned with awareness so we have to select awareness and then click on continue so you can see the we already know the objective it is for rich you want to show maximum people who may be interested in your brand it can be for brand awareness can be video views you can make a post of a video about your business and then send it across so that a lot of persons can watch it and know what you are doing it can be a stock lo store location awareness you want people to know about your store you show it uh, to people around you assuming you have a shop or a store location in lekki you can show it to people around lekki people around vi a chair of your presence having selected that you click on continue if you are getting value kindly subscribe if you've not then click on the notification button to get notified when i make any new upload and then if you are a returning viewer kindly comment kindly like and then kindly share so that youtube can show this to more people this is the three steps i showed us we have campaign we have ad set and then we have the ad so the campaign we have to name it you can see it can be your business business awareness is not this is not a special category ad so we don't have business with this you can select the category select the categories that best describe what this campaign will advertise so we will click on this you can see credit employment housing social issues elections or politics so we don't have business with this the next is campaign the the buying type is usually auction so the the higher bid will be shown more and more the campaign objective you know is awareness so you can also still change it here then you have more options non added campaign spending limit we can't because we are using prepaid we don't have to have a or set a spending limit then the a b test you can check it toggle it on to help improve ad performance test versions with different images test audiences or placement for accuracy each one will be shown to separate groups of your audience then we have advantage campaign budgets advantage campaign budget will distribute your budget across currently delivering ad sets get more results depending on your performance goal choices and bid strategy you can control spending on each ad set so when you want to control spending on each ad set you can turn it on but this is just going to be a one ad set so whether we turn it on or off it's not going to be affected so you click on next so the next is ad set so it can be ad sets awareness Having set the ad set name, then the other one is performance goal. So maximize reach of ad. So we are going to maximize reach. We Facebook will try to show your ad to as many people as possible. So this is reach, is awareness. So we should this is the best. Then we have the Facebook page. It's already selected. Then you have the bid control is optional. So well, we are not setting anything because if you set it, your the ad may not do well. Once that cap is reached, you have dynamic creative, provide creative elements such as images and headlines, and we automatically generate combinations optimized for your audience. Then we have budget. This is what Facebook has set it for. And now for new account, you may not need to start changing it because they are still looking at whether you'll be compliant with running ad on Facebook. Next is schedule. When are you going to start running this ad? There are school of thought that prefers this ad being starting from 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Say that ad that start at 4 a.m. does better than others. 
then you can set end date if you want end date when you want the add to stop so having checked the end date then you enter the date and the time so you enter the date and time now you can see that our time is lagos time that is why in setting our ad account you make sure you take the right time zone if not it may affect your ad next is audience as i told us you can create audience here as we created for that audience or the one we created but now we can use saved audience because we've created our audiences and saved them we can click here and then we have an awareness audience so you can use this you can select it and then our audience has been added next to look at placements it can be manual from this you can see that you can still edit the the audience so our audience size is 2.6 million to 3 million so it's sizable audience and you can see your audience is defined it's not like it's a random audience that this will be shown is already defined and then so the next we are looking at is placements depending on our budget our budget is not much then getting it to be shown to different placements may not be ideal so you can just run for facebook or facebook and instagram having selected that we'll come under the placement too we have feeds facebook feed we have instagram feed we have instagram profile feed normally i will just choose to instagram feed and then others i will check them facebook feed and instagram feed so we are going to check the two we select facebook feed and instagram feed. these are the two placements also take note of the image size there is something you need to consider here you look at this you can see you can see the recommended image is square image you can look at instagram explore square images these square images then instagram stories you can see we recommend full screen virtual images then facebook stories we recommend full screen so this is how to choose the right placement and it will be displayed we've chosen facebook and instagram reach people before during or after they watch a video or read facebook instagram videos ads on facebook reads ads on instagram ads on instagram reads search result get visibility for your business as people search facebook search results instagram search results messages then we have messages app and sites we have audience network rewarded videos audience network and stream videos but now we are focused on because we are focused on maximizing our ad budget which is less than a thousand per day we can concentrate on facebook feed and instagram feed then we we'll click on next now we are on the ad ad level here you can also name lsd awareness ad then the page is already selected then you can connect your instagram if not collected if it's not connected or click this drop down to select and then this is the ad creative we can create or use an existing post you can use single image or video carousel collection a group of items that opens into a full screen mobile experience so we can if we are creating our own ad from start we can select the format is this single image or video one image or video is slideshow with multiple images or carousel two or more scrollable images or videos collection a group of items that opens into a full screen mobile experience you can see the ad creative cost per result may rise due to too few ad creative so this is where you add your media as you are creating your own ad your 
then this is the pixel that is tracking all the performances all the interactions people have so for this we are going to use our post as you know at the end of while posting you need to add whatsapp button to it so because you want to use an already made post we click here to use existing post and then a post has pop up you can see cac services offer for all your cac registration services we are call or chat away you can see this is how it will appear on instagram feed so this is how it will appear for all your cac registration so you can see once you click on that then it will be selected and you can see the name will appear then let's see how it will be on facebook feed you can see multiple images then you can see your smart digital limited your trusted partner in cc cc registration so you can see when this ad is running you can see that here it will be once they click on it it will send a notification with details of this ad to the person's whatsapp this is how to run an awareness ad you see that there is no much restriction of people there is an open audience not people that have bought from them before but an open audience so this is how to carry out awareness ad and then the next when you've checked that everything is complete everything is okay then you click on publish so it will be published let's click on publish let's publish it you can see the selected that is currently being published and be edited so it has been posted awareness ad has been created you can see that it's processing ad is on and then let's go back to our campaigns so let's see our campaigns so you can see is processing is processing you can see the awareness so you can see our daily budget is 995 naira and then you can see ad set name delivery is processing the current status of your company ad set or ad delivery this is where you check and then so when we go back to our campaign we can see that it has been scheduled to run you can see it this is the campaign so let's see the ad sets what are we seeing ad set level is scheduled then the ad ad level is processing so this is how to carry out when it starts running you when you come to this you see that it will be active it's no longer scheduled but active this is the delivery column this tell you the stage so it is scheduled it has not started running you know we we put we say that it should start running by 4 a.m so you can see it this is add and then the add is processing meta is processing your recent update to your ad some update may take several hours so because i just launched published now still uh, processing it from experience what you see what you see under delivery for campaign may be different under ad set and then different other ad having placed this ad we are going to check for now in campaign it is scheduled then in ad set it is scheduled then in ad so let's see under ad so it's under review so this has to be reviewed and you know what reviews your ad it is artificial intelligence it is ai this so you know that these people they don't have emotion people are tending to 
your ad so you need to be compliant make sure that your ad copy are compliant there is no misleading false information things that will make your audience feel bad things that will target your audience so let your ad copy target your let the ad copy dwell on your benefits the benefits of your products on your potential audience you can see that it's under review and when it is it is approved by 4 a.m before 4 a.m once it is 4 a.m it will start running now from my experience most of my ad gets approved within two hours yes within two hours then those that prolong that take longer time most of them i know that if it's taking more than four hours ten hours then it's likely going to be rejected having set our ad we we have to wait it will go through reviews and after going through reviews it will be approved like i said if it is compliant within two hours it should be approved the longer it stays the the likelihood that is going to be rejected for violation so let's check you know i put it off but now so what you do after like two hours you check on your ad if it is if it has been approved and when you go to your ad campaigns the campaign list you can see that it is now active on the delivery so the delivery is the current status of your campaign ad set or ad delivery so let's check at let's check the ad sets let's see what is you can see ad set is active then ad ad is active you know this is awareness if it is a conversion ad let's say it will be in the learning phase but for now it is active it just started and is already active because there is no conversion if it is conversion let's say you want to get leads or sales people that had to cut people that fill a form the number of people then that will be calculated based that will be calculated based on the cost the cost for one conversion either lead generation or sales you can see that the delivery in both campaign ad sets and ad is immediately active because it is a conversion because it is not a conversion ad this is just awareness the the main aim or the goal is to show more people this are uh, business these are uh, services so you can put up a video of your services video of your product and then you can make a video post and then show it to people choose the awareness so that people will know about it those that have interest they can chat you and you can see this was enabled to get a whatsapp messages so this is how to set up awareness ad so next ad we'll look at traffic thank you for watching